Well, hello, farming friends, and welcome back to another edition of Farming Simulator 2015 with me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose. Hey, today we are continuing on with our mod showcases of the contest mods from the 2015 Farming Simulator mod contest. Today we are looking at the entry from the Czech modeling team, which is their Chrome Big X 580. It is a forage harvester, and I know what you're thinking. Oh, great, it's another forage harvester. Well, you know, we do need more forage harvesters, let's be honest. There's not enough of them in the game. Um, and I say that seriously. I mean, you need some variety. Um, they all do the same thing, yes, but uh, cost-wise, you need some different variations. And there's not been a nice, small, compact forage harvester in the game for maps like uh, some of these British maps that are really tight spaces, lots of hedgerows, things like that, like Colborough Park comes to mind. A nice compact forage harvester, pretty cool addition to the game. And just like tractors, it'd be nice to start off with a more economical, compact forage harvester to get you started early in the game versus having to wait until you come up with, uh, you know, basically five hundred thousand dollars to get into one um with the stock game so uh without having to buy dlc or anything else like that you throw this guy in here it's like a hundred fifty thousand dollars to get started with the with the harvester and then you got to pick up the head for just a little bit more but uh still pretty pretty darn cool so uh let's check this guy out check out some of the detailing that's on it They've done a really great job with it. Which is expected. That the guys from Check Modeling Team, they do a really good job. Your PTO shaft here in the front. They've done a real good job with mods in the past, so I didn't expect anything less from them. Got a little remote control here, so if you're taking your head off outside the tractor, you can do that. Just go around and look at the stickers. Vera stream inside. Some more warning markers. Uh -huh. Indicators in the back. Nice. Just real clean. Well done. Very nicely done. The tires themselves look like they've been used a little bit. They don't look like they're brand new. I mean, they've got a little bit of texture to them. That's pretty cool. So, overall, it's a really nice, clean mod. Now, we jump inside of it, and we'll show you the inside of it now. And just the interior, too, as well. Nice and clean. Very well done. Now there is some IC with this. If I slap the old space bar, I've got the door that will open. Close. Come up overhead, hit the space bar. I can turn on my AC unit here. I can turn on the radio. Got a sunshade in the front, um, which is interesting. I like the sunshade part of it. The IC on the radio and the AC doesn't do a whole lot for me. Steering wheel moves in and out. Uh, and then once we fire it up, we have a little bit more AC. Or a little more IC. Plus we have the door here that will open, or the vent, to give you a little air. So, we'll go ahead and fire this thing up. Step outside and let you guys hear what it actually sounds like. So, let's do the overhead view of it. Pretty much the same sound effects as before. Alright, from inside of it, it pretty much sounds about the same, doesn't it? Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and slap the IC one more time. And on our computer here, we get a menu button. We click the menu button and it will actually show us our hours that we have on the machine as, much as, as well as the acreage that we've worked with it. So, that's about it. That's all the IC that's on it. Still a nice little mode. Here's what I really love. This overhead light here, if you hit the door, the overhead light comes on. 
I thought that was pretty cool. And then you close the door, and the overhead's out. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. All right, so the story with this uh, particular mod is it's half the horsepower of the big one. It's only like 585. Uh, but again, it's a fourth of the price of the uh, of the big daddy that you would get normally in a store. So if we check that out, and we come in here, uh, you've got your original unit, the Chrome Big X 1100, which is a uh, thousand horsepower. Uh, and it's, uh, what, 14, 50, um, excuse me, $415,000, eight ten a day. Uh, and then we move over here to the mods and we come to here and scroll through. We have our Crone 580, $157,000 a day. And then we have, uh. $230 a day maintenance. So pretty, pretty uh, substantially different price in that. So uh, very nice for you. All right. So the last thing we need to do is take it for a spin and see what she does. So we come over here to the head that you get with it. And uh, we'll load it up real quick. And I guess I could show you the head real quick. The modeling on it pretty nice very cool all right pull up load that up and I'll take it over to where my cornfield is and we'll do a little corn harvesting with that back in one second all right guys here we are now I've got my 580 hooked up to my crone uh, hopper and uh, we are going to get started doing a little work here. First thing we'll do is we'll switch over to the front. And we'll go ahead and open up and take away the travel guards and get that folded out. Go ahead and get into the vehicle itself. Put up our pipe. And we can back up, fire this baby up. Let's see what she'll do. Nice action on the header. Looks real good. If we could step out here and do something we wouldn't want to do in real life. And see all the teeth going. Nice. Alright, inside we go. Let's do this. Very cool. And so there you have it, the 580, Chrome 580 from CMT, and uh, completely works. And like I said, it it gives you a little something extra, uh, you know, that we didn't have before. I think it's funny is uh, the little backup, the back cam on this that shows the pipe out the back um, it doesn't actually show the the right image but it is it is cute uh, that cam image should be the hopper that it's going into uh, that the pipe is offloading into uh, but instead it's showing uh, it's showing like a default image of of some other unit looks like the bandit or something like that that's pretty funny and if we hit our IC real quick you can see that it would go in and it would show us that we've actually started to work a little bit of field so that's it that's all we're gonna do with this one kids uh, but anyways, check it out. I think they've done a really great job with it, and um, I like it. Definitely something I can see using in the future in my game play, and uh, maybe something you want to add into yours. You can get it off of the official's website, farming-simulator.com.
Of course, you go to the mod section, go to the contest section, and I think it's on like page three uh, that you'll download it from. And I'll hope you check it out. Now, remember, it's just the truck, the uh, the Big X mod, the hopper. Uh, if you're uh, gonna ask me about the hopper, that's part of the Beast Pack uh, package, and you can look in my mods list to find that. So, anyways. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you liked the uh, the tractor and hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And, of course, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos. I do a new video each and every day. Until tomorrow, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.